What's going on everybody? It's Steve. I'm here with my Season 6 preview. Uh, we're back to a normal format, normal mons, no Dynamax, and no Restricteds. So let's get into it. Uh, I got the 13th overall pick. My original plan was for Galarian Moltres and Serena. Uh, Queenly Majesty would have been there to stop any priority into Moltres so it could freely get off a nasty plot and then do other things with other picks later on. But I said, hey, if Insin or Gothitelle drop to me, I'm going to pick them. Insin did. Poppin picked Gothitelle around the 8th pick. I'm not sure. Uh, so I got Insin. Everybody knows what Insin does. Fake out, intimidate, parting shot, good coverage, good support moves. It's got basically everything you need. Good typing. Uh, yep, yeah, that's Insin. And after Insin, I basically uh, let go of my entire plan. My original plan featured Vanillix, and because of the shared fighting weaknesses, I couldn't get it to fit too well. I thought about switching Vanillix to a Bomb of Snow. Uh, in the end, it didn't matter. Vanillix got picked round three, uh, and I decided not to do it anyway. Um, so from here on, everything was just starting from scratch. After Insin, I figured, uh, let's get Pre-Marina. I've wanted Pre-Marina for a while. You know, good special attack, good HP, really good special defense. The speed is somewhat questionable, uh, but the typing has got one of the best typings in the game. Uh, it can make use of some items that not many other mods use, such as Throat Spray. Uh, Insin pairs well with Pre-Marina. Intimidate obviously helps its lower defenses, although most mods are probably attacking it with special attacks anyway because its weaknesses are more focused in that direction electric and grass mainly and uh, Prim's got Parasong and everyone knows I love Parasong I love Explosion it can also Misty Explode but uh, that's probably never going to happen uh, moving on from there uh, when Poppin drafted Gothitelle I said in the, in the draft discord that he should pick up Reggie Drago, and when he didn't, I figured, hey, why don't I? Uh, I was going to pick Gotharita anyway because of Shadow Tag, so that I could get a Paris Trap going on. Uh, and then Reggie Drago was still there at my third pick, so I think I picked Reggie Drago first and then Gotharita, because I figured somebody might grab Drago in those six picks. Uh, Gotharita is a great EV Light support. The defenses are ridiculous. Fake out. Uh, Shadow Tag could run competitive. It's got 75 special attack. That's not bad. Um, uh, Hypnosis ally switch. Sadly, it doesn't get imprisoned, but it's my only trick room setter, which is kind of a negative. Um, the main thing is that I have as close to an ideal Parish Trap set up out of these first three picks as you can get in a draft league, I think. Insin, Goth, and Pre-Marina. You know, you get the Shadow Tag, you get two times Fake Out. Gotharita can teleport. Uh, Insin can Parting Shot. Pre-Marina does Parasong. Uh, Pre-Marina can dive, obviously. Uh, would only get better if Mega Gengar was available, but it's not, because then you can just, you know... Mega Evolve and Paris Song on the same turn. Trick them. Um, as for Reggie Drago, it does have a good physical move pool. Obviously, most of the time, I'm just going to be doing Dragon Energy, Draco Meteor, Dragon Pulse, and something else. It's got both screens. It's got Hammer Arm, Explosion. Uh, there's some other physical moves in there that are pretty good. And from a team-building perspective, if you have Steels or Fairies you're probably going to bring it against me. And that's an advantage I have. I probably know that you're bringing those two types. Or you're bringing your Mon with Wide Guard. If you've got, like, a Swampert or something, you're probably going to bring the Swampert. Uh, moving on from there, I wanted to get a good Tailwind Mon to pair with Primarina and Reggie Drago so far on my team. You know, gotta go fast. Uh, I was thinking Crobat or Drift Blim. 
I do not have a terrain, so I figured Crobat was better, and I believe Driftblim got picked this round anyway by Bardo. Uh, Crobat has good coverage and a good support move pool. You know, it's got uh, Taunt and Whirlwind for opposing trick rooms. Um, it's got Haze if anyone wants to set up on me. It, mm, it might be the fastest Tailwind in the game outside of Unburden and outside of Prankster, and it also can't be faked out. And it's good pivoting options between Crobat, Prim, and Insin. Psychic Fighting, Poison Ice, you know, I can switch around all of them. And it's got Nasty Plot if I ever want to set up a Nasty Plot to Crobat. Both physical and special are definitely viable on this guy. Moving from there, I wanted some heavy hitters. So I got Delmice for Trick Room, and uh, Digger's B can work in both, but it's probably more likely to be used in Tailwind. Uh, Digger's B obviously works well with Crobat. You know, I just set up Tailwind and I click Earth Earthquake. Um, there's some other synergies I don't want to get into, because they're kind of surprising. Uh, Delmice never loses, and you should take it uh, first overall when you have the wheel pick as we learned in Season 2. And actually, I think it's a very underrated anti-trick room mod. At 40 speed with a room service, it will underspeed everything other than stack attacker that's setting trick room. And not only that, it has ghost stab, grass stab, and steel stab. The ghost stab is going to hit your psychic and ghost types that are setting the trick room, and the steel is going to hit the fairy types that are setting the trick room. Uh, very good anti-trick room mod. Or, if you don't have a good trick room mode, it's also just a very good trick room mod. Not only that, it's got the ally switch, it's got helping hand, uh, phantom force breaks protect, so that's obviously useful. Uh, Diggersby, huge power is busted. Right? It's got 74 attack, I think, with huge power. It brings it up to like 260 when it's maxed, and it has uh, sword stance. I can just sword stance quick attack behind a fake out. Right, that's that's a fuckload of damage you gotta look look out for. Uh, moving on from there, I got sniped for the first time on my eighth pick. I wanted Berserker, and Goose took the Berserker. Um, this was a pretty inspired pick. I thought I wanted Berserker and Delmize for that uh, Steely Spirit boost on the secret stab steel type attacks from Delmize. Right, Steely Spirit boosts it by 50%, plus the stab, 30%, plus whatever item I would have given Delmize. While Berserker's just doing fake out and other stuff. Would have been really great in Trick Room. But I still wanted a Steel type, I wanted an Electric type. I considered Vega Volt for the Electric type, but uh, that was compounding rock weaknesses at this point, I think. Yeah, something like that. Uh, maybe Fire. Anyway, it was compounding some sort of weakness, so... Magneton has Magnet Pull, which will definitely help against the Steel Types who are coming in to counter Reggie Drago. Right? You don't want to be a Steel Type stuck in there with a Magneton and an Incineroar. Uh, and it's got really good stats for an NFE. It's pretty fast, it's got huge special attack. Now with an Air Balloon, I can Disquake, maybe. It's a little risky, but whatever. And then I got sniped again, by Goose, again. I want a Cryogonal, another fast mon to pair with Diggers B Earthquakes, because it's got Levitate. And Frostmoth was my backup. I wasn't sure which one I wanted, so when Cryogonal got picked, I was like, alright, I guess I'm picking Frostmoth then. Uh, Frostmoth has Tailwind and Wide Guard, which are both obviously useful. It also has the Shield Dust ability, so if I run that, it can't be faked out. Um... And the other ability, Ice Scales, means I take half as much damage from special attacks, which is obviously good. And it's got Quiver Dance. Quiver Dance is one of the best boosting moves in the game. But Bug Ice is one of the worst types in the game. So I'm sure I will use it eventually. But uh, yeah, it's ninth, ninth pick. What more do you want? Six points, I think. And the last two. I had nine points left. A lot of mods that I could actually bring. I was considering Phalanx uh, in that last slot, but uh, I think Daddy picked it. 
And Grappelock is only three points. It's got Soak, and it's slower than Delmice. So uh, you do the math. Barbarical has Shell, shell Smash. Shell Smash. And Tough Claws. Uh, pick your bulkiest mon and do a calc to see how much a plus two Tough Claws liquidation does. You'll be surprised. Here's my type chart. Uh, my speed tiers are really weird. Obviously, I would say this half wants Tailwind. This half wants Trick Room, and like in the middle could kind of do either, but it's a little suspect. Net weakness to flying, but two of those are Frostmouth and Grappelocked, so I'm not overly concerned about that. Uh, the net weakness to fighting is a little bit worse, but again, I've got Crobat, I've got Goth, I've got Prim. Uh, and I actually have one of each type, which uh, I wasn't intending on doing. It just kind of happened, which is pretty cool. But only double up on the water type. Neat. Overall, I think my team's good. My speed tiers are weird, and I wish I had a faster fake out and a more reliable trick room. With Goth being my only trick room, you're either going to find out it's Mental Herb and kill it the following game, or you're going to find out it's Eviolite and taunt it. Um, something like an Alolan Persian might have been better. I could have. I might end up doing some trades involving Insin to get a faster fake out. We'll see how things go. Uh, I like having Reggie Drago, as I talked about before, just because it provides that pressure just by existing. You're going to want to build around at least a Steel or a Fairy type, and if you see it in Team Preview, you're probably going to want to lead those types. Else you just get, you know, Dragon energy. I like that all my mons are use usable, even the uh, three-pointers. Uh, I don't like that I only have three Pokemon that know Explosion, and they're not really useful. Regidrago, Magneton are probably not going to run Explosion. Primarina, I doubt I'm ever running Misty Explosion. But, like I said, I do have probably the best Parish Trap available. Uh, that's the team, and I hope... It goes well. We'll see. First game against Sam at some point next week. Uh, good luck to everybody this season. Hope you have a good time. Peace.